get your cinematic black bars at the top and bottom of your screen, um, just like in the movies. So you see here uh, that ratio for the black and uh, black bars at the top and bottom are usually 239 and by one. Um, that ish, you know, we're not going to be precise here and do the mathematic equation, but we want to give you a similar look to that. We're talking the widescreen, and then you know there's usually those black bars at the top and at the bottom. So first thing we want to do is we have our clip here. Okay, so we got a nice little clip here, and we want to put those black bars on. Give it, just make it a little more cinematic looking. Um, just gives it that movie feel. So what we're going to do is we're going to be in our effects tab. You see up here and we are going to go to our clip we have it here in our timeline we're good to go now over here in the um, in the media part we're going to go right click and you'll see new item and adjustment layer now adjustment layers do a lot more than just this but for this video in particular we're just talking about uh, how to get those cinematic black bars so we've got 1920 by 1080 that's our um, resolution for our film so that is correct we're going to hit ok and here it is, boom, it popped up there, okay? So then all we're gonna do is take it and we're gonna drag it over, and there you go. It is now over top of your clip. Now, you notice nothing's happened. Well, first thing you wanna do is, this is usually something I'll do towards the end of my films, um, when I'm almost done with them, and then I wanna move the framing up or down or zoom in or whatever, I'll do all that kind of at the end. Uh, so imagine this is a full movie and it's done. Uh, we would pull this adjustment layer, the length of the film or the clip, however you wanna do it, and then you just click on the clip, so that is highlighted. We need to go up to our effects, and uh-oh, cheated, you already see what I did. So you'll see a little search bar up here, and we wanna find crop. And there it is there under transform, and we're just gonna drag that right down onto the adjustment layer. And then from there, you'll see in our effect controls up here, if you don't see it, if it's on something else, just go over until you find effect controls, and then we'll be on the adjustment layer. And you'll see right here under the crop that we just added, you'll see left, top, right, bottom. Now, right and left are just, if you mess with those, you'll see it kind of it pulls the framing in. So this is cool for a, like a swipe effect or if you're doing a tr split screen transition or something like that. That works, but we don't want to do that. We want the bars. So generally, 12 or 13% is where you want to live for those cinematic bars. Now, again, this isn't precise. We're not doing the exact percentage of the widescreen uh, look, but... We've got here, I usually go with 12, uh, whoops, <laughs> left, top, go 12, and then we'll go bottom, also 12, boom. And if you want it a little more isolated, you can go 13, just gives it a little more focus on the area you want it to focus, but there you go. So now you've got your clip, then what you can do is, and this is why I do it at the end of my films, because if I don't like where I want your eyes to go here, if I don't like where that's positioned, then now that I've seen where the black bars are, and a lot of times when you film the actual movie, those black bars are on the monitor you're watching, so you can kind of get your framing right in camera on the day. But let's say you don't. Let's say you were in a rush and you didn't quite get what you wanted, so you want to move it. So then you just go to your clip, highlight that, and then you're just going to move the positioning of it. So you're just going to move it up or down. So let's say you didn't want that, but you wanted more of the mop bucket. There you go. All right, guys, that's today's video. Thanks so much for checking it out. Catch you later.